we have fallen into every trap they set you know with everything they set up because we didn't know what we're dealing with so every uh trap really they set we were in it so you find yourself having arguments in circles uh defending yourself against nonsense uh so they obviously expect the same thing to follow while you the relationship is ended and we're trying to co-parent with them so when you make the kids a priori priority with a the narcissist they don't understand this they don't understand it because they don't know they envy the bond that you have the children which the bond the love that you have the kids without really trying to manipulate the kids or trying to have any kind of agenda which you know what that's all the narcissist is about so they don't really understand that and of course they envy that you just uh doing this out of uh, with no uh, plan in sight like you know like they do with everything they do has an agenda you know, so when the, your relationship the relationship ends and you heal and you get to the point where if it's not about the kids um you have no part in it you know because they will still be trying the tricks they tried while in the relationship they tr throw you know throw the all the nonsense at you so that you can get into an argument with them and engage with them and you know go around around in circles with no end in sight because they don't plan for any end in sight so but when you heal and you of course you're aware of what you're dealing with obviously you are limiting any kind of contact any kind of discussion to the children and of course the narcissist is obviously trying to get you to engage more so what the narcissist actually thinks or their thoughts on you maintaining the children as a priority is uh they're, they're angry they're angry and they're feeling uh, left out because they are used to getting you to engage in the rubbish. You know, they're used to getting you to engage with whatever. All they need to do is throw certain words and certain things at you, which, you know, they still try to do that because, like I said, as you come out and you're healing and you understand what is, what is going on, you, you see them doing this. And, of course, if you go to the part of where you this doesn't phase you anymore, you know, you, it's quite comical to watch it, to see that what they expect you to react a certain type of way, which, you know, you choose not to engage because it doesn't involve the children. So you don't want to be a part of it. So the narcissist is angry about this. Their, their, their thoughts on this is, is anger because they are envying the bond that you don't need to manipulate to have with the children. Uh, the relationship you're trying to have with the children without needing to, uh, have any kind of agenda with them so when you continuously over and over again let them know by not engaging unless it involves the kids and even if it involves the kids it involves the kids where you is something that not you know because you know they, they do try to engage you throwing in the kids there for um no reason you know they can throw you know, just to put the kids in there when you know it, it's nonsense so when you're able to be selective of what you're picking that you know has some kind of a, a road there or end in sight you know and you keep doing this over and over again sending the message to the narcissist where i would not engage with you on anything unless it has something meaningful that concerns really concerns the kids you know like i said because they'll be throwing different weird things in there with the kid just to get you to say something what you see is you look at those things and you know understand that it's, this is pointless you don't even engage in that kind of thing so what the narcissist is, is thinking is how dare you <laughs> how dare you not fall for the tricks that has worked for years uh, how dare you um disregard my uh, uh disregard me not give me this attention and focus it on on, on you know the children uh how dare you you know, so it's anger that follows this because they don't understand why you have this children inside. Actually, they're actually envious of the kids for having this a genuine uh, care and, and, and love from you that they don't possess, they can have because everything they do has to have an agenda. They don't go in where they don't have any benefit from it. So they best be you best believe that they are envious of the kids you know the envious of the love that you have for the kids by always 
putting them, you know, putting their, 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 uh, consider them first with different things while they're over there busy trying to, uh, find ways to sabotage everybody to get some kind of attention to themselves. And as time goes on, they realize you are not even about that. You don't care if it does not involve the children, you do not care. You don't want any attention to yourself. You're not seeking to engage with them. You know, so they're angry about this. <laughs> they are very angry. They are very angry about it. So as you heal, as you recover and, and you know, getting your mind together and focusing solely on, on the kids, you best believe that the narcissist is busy being mad about this, being angry why they can't draw you into any kind of uh, uh, nonsensical uh, conversation. And of course, this in turn makes them start resenting the children. They're envious about the bond you have the children because you know that the only reason that they need the children or they pretend they care for the children is to use them for supply. So with time, they don't, they, they'll start resenting the children as well because they come rain or shine, if it doesn't involve them, you don't engage. And they need you to engage. Especially if there's no, uh, well, there's always a supply, but they don't really get enough of supply. So if they, they don't get a negative energy they want from you or whatever, and the only thing stopping them is the kids. If it's not part of, if the kids are not part of it, you don't care, you know? So with time, they will, uh, start resenting the kids. This is sometimes will make them ghost the children or cancel plans with the children or triangulate the children with other children on the new supply. This these are all calculated, you know, and they don't understand why you, you are just, you know, you have this love for the children. You don't, there's no plan. You'd have no agenda like they do. They don't understand how that is. So there are thoughts on this that you, as time goes on over and over in the beginning, it might look like they, they don't understand what you're doing or that they can feel they can still draw you out and get you to engage with them. But as time goes on, they get this that you are maintaining. If it's not about the children, I will not engage with you. With time, they get mad. They start resenting the kids because they are envious of for the love. They are envious of the love that you have for the children. And this gets them mad. And with time, they will resent the kids and they start, you see them acting out in certain ways. This is them showing how come these people, <laughs> these kids are stopping me from uh, getting the uh, supply. You know, this is when they, we know, like I said, they use the kids for supply. They use everybody for supply. So if they're not getting the supply from the nurses, the new supply, or they're not getting enough from the kids, they, you know, they need that supply from you, you know, and as if it doesn't involve the kids, no matter what they say to you, you do not react, you know, so... <laughs> They will get mad that you are continuously maintaining the children as a priority. If it doesn't involve the kids, you don't engage. And to that, I say, keep on keeping on. <laughs> if it does not involve the children, you do not engage with the narcissist. All right, guys, like, share, subscribe.